What is going on guys? We are back playing some more Surviving with Actually Editions. And today guys, we are going to be setting up the final tier of Canola Power Generation. I'm really excited for this, mainly because I want the bonus power, but also because I actually think it's pretty interesting and fun to set up. So, if you saw, I believe it was two episodes ago, when we set up the portion of the Canola Power Generation that's right over here, and I guess what we're standing on right now, that is what turned the regular Canola Oil into Crystallized Canola Oil. And I mentioned that what we're going to be setting up today is slightly complicated and, uh, you know, requires a little bit more than what we did for that tier. So, you know, just settle in, get ready to do a little bit of building because it is slightly more annoying to set up than this. Luckily, though, there are portions of it that are pretty much essentially duplicates of it. So uh, I'm not going to cover that too in depth until we actually start building it. But just know that it actually shouldn't be too bad but it will be a little bit harder. Now, one thing that I always say, you know, whenever we're doing pretty much anything with these mods, is if you are playing in a mod pack, this will be so much easier. And I usually say that, but this time I really mean it, because you should have Ender IO conduits. I know like 95% of mod packs have Ender IO conduits, and those will allow you to do the specifically round robin that we're going to have to deal with later very, very easily. The whitelisting and all, you know, the item transportation will be much easier to do. So if you have the option to use those, I would highly advise you to. And I'm also slightly jealous because I wish I had them right now. So without further ado, we can get into doing the crafting. Now, I did do a bunch of crafting beforehand. Um, I also broke some things that we already had, and we're going to reuse them. So first and foremost, you're going to need an empowerer setup, which is four display stands, an empowerer. I have the four energy laser relays that we already had, and then the four uh, invisibility modifiers. Pretty much, if you remember, I had the uh, empowerer setup here, which was kind of an odd spot for it. It started out here, and I never moved it, even though I said I would. But uh, I broke that, and we're going to be using it. Eventually, I'll need to make another set for it, but I thought, you know what, I want to move this anyway, so let's just break it and use it for the setup today. Now, that is the, actually the harder portion of what we're going to be setting up, so uh, everything else is pretty much similar to what we did before. We're going to be getting um, the fluid placer and fluid collector set up with the precision dropper and the two redstone phantom faces, so just going to be doing all of that crafting right now real quick. Got the two redstone phantom faces, which, if you set it up properly, should be able to use the same redstone timer that you're already using, um, which should make it a little bit easier. Then we've got the automatic precision dropper. We're going to have to drop seeds into water again, or I guess the crystallized canola oil that we already made. And uh, I think that's it for all the stuff we need to craft there. And then lastly, we've just got some miscellaneous things at the bottom here. We've got the glass to kind of keep the liquid enclosed. I've got 22 energy laser relays. The reason behind this is because I just crafted these. They can be turned into the fluid ones, which we will need some of. And then they can also be crafted into the item laser relays, which will upgrade to advanced so that we can whitelist stuff. So that is why we've got um, these different things here. Now I am going to pull these out, but we're not going to craft anything right now because we can actually do it in our inventory grid. Um, now the one big thing for this, usually I say have a redstone torch on you because that is how you alter between deactivation and pulse mode for all the machines well now that we're getting into stuff that requires priority on the laser relays have a compass with you because that for some reason is how you change the uh priority on the at least the item laser relays which is going to be important for saying what stuff needs to go where first and that's kind of going to be how we get around this whole round robin issue by creating a huge backup of stuff and allowing things to be prioritized before others. So a compass is needed. And then you're going to need four other compasses if you want to craft the range modifier, which is what we're going to be doing here. Um, I've never actually used these before. We're going to get four of them. I think we might need them if we're crossing from like over here to over there for the empower. I know right now it can go 16 blocks. So... Uh, I just wanted to make sure that if we do have to go further than 16 blocks, we won't have an issue. Okay, so we're going to kill this skeleton real quick. I think this is the first hostile mob we have ever run into in this series. Oh my gosh, why can't I get up there to get him? I can't even, like, hit him. You know what? Get down here. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Just don't pay attention to that. Cool. Uh, so, cleared out this area a little bit. I could clear it out more if I really wanted to, but I think this should be big enough. for setting up the Empowerer, and then we're just going to continue... Over here with this setup for uh, the fluid placer and fluid collector again it's just gonna go same thing and then literally duplicate it right back here and we'll just move this uh, phantom face above this I think so first things first empower the display stands need to go two away so I think what we're gonna do is set it up like so 
we'll do one there and then we'll just come in two so the regular one will be here two two and two so we'll do that then we'll put down the empower right here the reason i'm doing this is i want to leave room over here because eventually i'm going to move the generator over here uh we might need a couple more of the oil generators if we start kind of min maxing this setup with uh you know certain things to increase the growth i think it's greenhouse glass for these canola plants so stuff like that um we'll make it so we might need more generators but we've got this setup going and now what we can do is take uh, we actually need to convert some of these relays into item relays and we also should sleep so i don't get attacked by stuff um, but we're going to convert a fair bit of these i'll actually convert like half of them i think 10 should be enough because that is how we are going to be putting items on top of uh the display stands it's a very easy way to do it so we'll do that i'll sleep real quick and then we actually will need to upgrade uh i believe all five of the ones that are going to go on the display stands so might as well do that right now might as well upgrade all six of them just because so there we go got all the advanced item laser relays um mainly just because i want to whitelist certain things if i'm going to be hooking them up i'm not actually sure if you need these but we're going to put them down on top of the display stands and then we can link all of them so i think we're going to go like this they're all at priority 10 which should be fine for now advanced ones start out at 10 so um if it's hooked up with advanced and regular it'll prioritize the advanced so uh the reason i'm hooking them up like this is because this one is going to get hooked up over here to uh the regular canola seeds so i believe we need to come down here and find where this is yeah so this is currently hooked up to this right over here correct no so that's that's where the canola goes and then which one is hooked up this has does this have an invisibility i believe this has an invisibility and is hooked up to this again right here so this is actually a priority 10 so that one will have to be a priority 11 but we're going to hook this up to this right over here and it does have enough range for it i am going to put an invisibility modifier on this just because i do not want to see that it's really far so it looks like we won't need the range modifiers. It looks like it'll be short enough, but better safe than sorry. So then we can fill this in and be done with that. And then once this eventually gets canola seeds in it, that can get put over here. It should do that. Um, sometimes it needs to be kickstarted whenever you log in. It gets weird like that. I've had the same issues with conduits, but let's take a compass and let's set this to, uh, if you look at it, when you have the compass out, it says right click to increase, sneak right click to decrease. So we're going to set all of these to priority 11 because we want all of these to fill up before it actually starts sending stuff over here. Now, it's a little bit weird with how this works, uh, getting all this set up to function when you don't have round robin options. Normally, I'd probably just say round robin it if you've got Ender IO conduits so that it can go, you know, one here and then send like four out in that direction over there or something. But uh, we don't really have that option. So I'm going to say fill those up first, then fill that up. So... For some reason, this isn't functioning right now. Okay, so it looks like the slight problem that we were having is down here. It was just all canola, and that's because we're kind of running into a backup over here where we're not going through all the canola oil fast enough. Uh, so we do need to grab out some of these seeds, and I forgot what we need to do is whitelist over here. So we're going to come over, and on inbound, we're going to whitelist canola seeds on all of these so that they can actually come in here and i don't actually think we need to worry about necessarily whitelisting and using advanced filters on these um i think regular filters probably would have been or regular uh item relays would have been fine but why not we've got the resources so now if we were to throw canola seeds in here they should fill up over there then fill up in there yep so you can see they put all four over here which is great uh, I'll have to figure out some way to deal with all this excess canola just because it seems like we're not using it up as fast as we really should be, which is a slight issue. But now this is all filled up on the outside and for the inside, uh, we need to be making these empowered canola seeds, which require we've got all the canola around the outside. We need crystallized in the center. So that's going to be another advanced item filter or item laser relay in the center. And we're going to have to put a filter on this with piece from over here so you can see another issue we're running into here is there's a backup so we're not actually using up the canola seeds that are getting dropped but we'll come over here and we will whitelist that as inbound and now we are going to have to pretty much filter between this and this so they both are going to get hooked up okay this needs to stop over here this is getting supremely loud and annoying 
Okay, so no more seeds are going to get dropped in there, so give me those. I need to stop that. It's really fine off-camera, but man, I wish there was a muffler upgrade for that thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is hook up over here. This is connected right here, so we need to come, I believe, down and over, and then grab from this and hook up over here. Cannot connect. They're not part of the same network. The stored relay isn't the same type or doesn't exist anymore. Okay, so these might be too far away. So what we need to do is take a laser relay upgrade on this one. And we can actually get down there so I can select it. We can put that on there. Then select that. And hopefully, let's try... I don't know if we need a second upgrade on this. So let's try it again. I think with both upgrades on there, it should be able to function. Yeah, okay, there we go. So it just needed a second upgrade. So now there's one connecting these two, uh, which should mean that this is able to input into there uh, eventually once we have stuff in here. So if we were to throw crystallized canola seeds in there, you can see it inputs one out there and the rest should go in there. Now, when I said that a backup would function uh, to kind of help us, what I meant is once this is completely full, it will only input in there whatever it can. So eventually, once we're taking you know one out of here to upgrade for this, it'll fill this with one, and then everything else will try and go in there. And if it can't, then it'll leave it in there. So it'll essentially back up to the point where um, it'll be able to kind of alternate between these two whenever it needs. Right now, the only issue is it might not alternate, and it might send a bunch just to here, and then none of them will go over there to be upgraded. But that'll all be taken care of once there is a backup. And of course, the backup will never go away. It just is kind of, you need a little bit of a backlog to start out. So this should all be taken care of now once these receive power on all the sides. We should actually have the canola seed that we need. So what we can do is grab out some of these energy laser relays and just throw on the sides of all these. I'm going to throw it on, I was going to throw it on the back of all these for consistency, but you know what? I'm just going to throw it on the center of all these now because it's going to bother me if it's not actually on the same side. So get all these off, connect each one of these, and then I'll figure out which one's actually going to get connected to a power source. Um, I guess the main power source would be right over here. Man, the invisibility upgrades actually make it kind of hard to figure out where stuff is going. Let's connect this because that's definitely getting power to this. Let's see if it's got enough range. It does. So that's now functioning. Uh, I am going to add invisibility upgrades. I do not have any invisibility upgrades. Looks like that red thing's staying there. Um, but yeah, so now this has been upgraded, and I believe we're going to need to hopper it out of here. I don't think that the advanced item laser relay can pull out of there right now. Uh, we can always check, but I don't, I don't think it can. So I think I need to make a hopper. If I might already have a hopping item interface, I don't know. That would work too. Let me see. Do I... I have an invisibility upgrade, but I do not believe so. So we're going to have to get some iron and some wood because we need to make a hopper for this because it should be able to pull it out of the bottom then and push it through. So I think we only need a hopper for this, not a hopping item interface um, because a hopper should be able to pull this out the bottom and then we'll be done with the hardest portion of this whole thing. So we'll put down the hopper like that, break over here, put down an advanced item laser relay, and I believe it should be able to pull out like that and push it in to wherever it needs to go. So it'll be in there right now, but I think if we connect this to something, it'll be able to push through there. So now we need to deal with these fluid conduits. So this one is definitely pushing over there. So we are going to break that, and we don't actually need this to push anywhere anymore. Then we're gonna get this redstone face right here, we're going to break it and we're going to have to figure out which one this is supposed to be hooked up to again. So we'll put it there and we'll see which one this is connected to. So this one is right now connected to a block of redstone, which means when it shifts, that's what the next one's going to have to be connected to. So once this shifts back over here, we'll bind it and then rebind it to that so it's functioning again. It's taken a while. Okay. There we go. So we will store that and then connect it there. So that's now connected block of redstone and that's block of air, good. So we want them to just be opposite of each other and now we can fill this back in. And then we are pretty much ready to go, I think, with setting up the rest of this. So 
First things first, I'm going to set up the glass right here. So it'll be right here and right here. And then we're going to set up the... Oh, you know what? We never upgraded the auto breaker and auto placer. I forgot. Okay. So we're going to have to sleep too. This video is taking a little bit longer than I actually expected. Probably because I did not have a concrete idea of how I wanted to do this. Okay, so we got the fluid collector, fluid placer. We're going to sleep. And then we're pretty, pretty much just going to do what we had done before. Um, even with the timing, we're going to use the same piece for that. And we actually should be pretty good to go then. So the reason I'm saying put these down first is because this is going to automatically output fluid right away. So, oh, you know what? We can actually sit down like that. Then we are going to place down the auto dropper. So like that. And this needs to be on pulse. So we got to get out our redstone. Set this to pulse. This needs to be set to pulse. And then finally, we're going to place this down. And you're going to see what I was talking about. So yeah, it's gonna automatically place that down because it's on deactivation when you first start it. So we want that to be on pulse. And this should automatically fill up now with everything from in here. And, oh, you know what? Okay, yeah, so this will then get, this should get picked up once this toggles again and just start filling this up again. And that actually should help us a little bit with the backup of oil we're currently having because I don't have a good way to store any of this right now. So I just wanna verify that that'll eventually get picked up. Then we have over here, so this is going to eventually pick it up once we have the crystallized canola coming in here, which we can deal with right now, or empowered canola, I should say. So we will get out our item laser relay, hook that up there, and we need to wire it back over. So there, to there, and I believe, did it insert it? Let's see, I might need a hopping item interface because it might need to push the item. I think we actually might need that. Okay guys, so it turns out for some reason I actually needed to use a hopping item interface, which is kind of weird because over here I needed to use it, uh, but over here when I was inputting it, I only needed to use a hopper down there. So a little bit odd, but a hopping item interface did the trick. So it pushed the item over here. We've now got empowered canola seeds. And what we can do is put the empowered canola seed down if we really want to be safe take this throw it in there you can see it becomes a very nice pink color and then we can switch this to deactivation let it pick it up and then switch it to pulse now the reason i say that is because now if uh you know we mess up the redstone a little bit this one will already have something in it so it won't be able to pick up any of the crystallized oil that might be accidentally put out if we kind of set this up a little bit wrong so not that i think we're going to set it up wrong i think we're gods at redstone as you guys already know uh again though it's very simple to do so all we have to do is come down here put down the redstone face and then over here put down this one and we're just going to bind it to the correct ones again so i believe we grab out the phantom connector uh this one is going to get bound on the right over here so if we can get that clicked on it should be on the right like so what oh there we go forgot we have to shift right click and then this one we are going to bind to picking it up so like so so that actually should work pretty well. So once it flips back, this one should fire and this should spit out a piece and then this should pick it up. So there we go, it spits it out. And now that this isn't backed up, this should actually be functioning pretty well. Um, the whole issue with having these get spit out and not being able to consume them is completely avoided once the backup is no longer a thing. So really the only problem to take care of now is making sure that all the canola is getting consumed from over here. So if that does turn out to be an issue, there always is the option of putting out further fermenting barrels and just using up that oil. If you don't really need all the canola over here, like you can see all of this, this could be just put into a second setup like this for extra power. So don't feel like you need to just get rid of canola for random reasons. You could always set up even, you know, one of these with the four generators again, multiple of these. I don't really know, but that seems to be the biggest issue. Uh, now, this is pretty much as good as this setup is going to get, other than the fact that you can put greenhouse glass over this, which we'll do probably next episode, uh, just to kind of maximize its efficiency even further. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today, guys. I think that's uh, the finished setup other than, oh, you know what, I forgot one thing, fluid laser relay put over here, and then that is eventually going to get connected to this generator right here. So... Uh, once this eventually burns through all of that, I should say, we'll go like this, like that. They're now connected and everything should be good to go. 
uh, other than kind of waiting for this to catch back up because it looks like it's kind of fixing all the seed issues that it had. So finishing replanting, getting some more seeds going in here. We could kind of facilitate this if we really wanted to. So all this extra canola, if you've got an auto crafting option, feel free to make it into canola seeds and dump them back in here. Uh, and then I guess I'll have to manually dump them in here, but uh, yeah, nothing really too bad happening right here. We'll definitely get a ton of power from this. I'll kind of showcase it next episode, but that is the setup, guys. That is the final tier of canola power generation. I do apologize for a slightly longer video. Pretty much went off of memory for this one. Normally, I go into creative world and kind of set up what I'm going to do for the episode so it's a little bit more thought out, but I've done this a couple times, thought I'd be fine with it, and uh, hopefully you thought so too, but Good luck with setting your stuff up and maximizing your Actually Editions power, guys. If you found the episode entertaining or informative in any way, please feel free to give it a like because it does help me out a lot. And one quick note before I leave you guys is that I am going to be heading back to school probably the day that this video gets uploaded. I believe it's Saturday. Um, I'm moving in probably right as this video is going up. So uh, just a heads up as to why the videos might not be returning to the normal schedule right away. I will try and return to multiple videos every week once I'm back at school and have more of a regimented schedule. Uh, but for the first week or so when I'm getting settled in and kind of still moving stuff around, figuring out roommate schedules and whatnot, the videos will be sporadic if at all. So just a slight heads up. Thank you guys so much for bearing with me with the internship over the summer and being really busy and everything. I know it's not ideal. Uh, but again, thank you guys. I really appreciate you understanding and I just thought I'd keep you in the loop, but thanks for watching guys. And I will talk to you later.